rejected content. Six months ago, we uploaded a video cataloging all of our projects for the year. Little did we know, everything would change, and now it's a big show. So here we are to tell you about it. Yay! Up first are our bikes. A lot has changed, but a lot has stayed the same, starting with our 1970s Sears Yellow Jacket mini bike that we call the Doodle Bopper. All it needed was a brake rod welded. It was, it is now fully operational. Continuing with the theme of things that have stayed exactly the same is our group project, the Wasp. Uh, nothing has changed because of all the other projects. This will be a future endeavor. All right, over here we have Satara's mini bike. Uh, does this have a name yet? I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think it has a name, but all of the work that we wanted to carry out with this bike has been done. It now has a governor deleted billet rod, uh, billet flywheel motor with a special silenced pipe that is nicely wrapped, slider carb, this thing rips. You could actually watch the full build for this over my left shoulder or right here. Something else that has completely changed is my 1964 Honda S90. This bike is 100% different than you saw it in the last update video. It's also a little bit different than the build video that you've seen over my left shoulder. You can watch that, but there'll be some future parts to show you how I got here. Uh, currently, it does not run. I'm having an electrical problem, but once that is solved, this bike will be done. And now for the biggest change. Last time in the update, my main mini bike was a red MB200. Um, we had a lot of things planned for that bike. Uh, most of them actually happened in a video that did very well over here. Uh, but I was never quite happy with that bike. I did not like the MB200 frame and it was very loud for my neighborhood. So I made a questionable decision. I traded it for this which is a Sears 1970s Roper frame uh, with a brand new Predator 224 on it. Um, I made this decision because I can't help but like the older bikes as you can uh, see here, but it was a poor decision. I did a straight up trade. I didn't even ask for money. Uh, very poor financial decision. And so far I've had to completely revamp this transmission system over here. I've had to put a slider carb on it. And then in the future, we will be adding a center exit pipe uh, to make it look more like a, like the hog that it is. Write all the hate comments you want, make fun of me all you want, but I got a big plan in mind for this. Just you wait. Uh, it might not be a questionable financial decision. Okay. What is this? What do we have here? I now have a working bike, but first, come this way with me, please. If you follow me, and if you remember correctly, we started this year with a little bit of a Nurple video. We were getting into the spirit of the Nurple project. Um, so where we've gotten so thus far on this project is, is right here. I'm not shelving this project forever. This is something I really want to do, but I want to do it right. I don't have the expertise, the time, or the money right now to do that. Uh, but I want to pay someone that does so that's where this is for now and in the place of that as you saw what I pulled up on and what we have a wonderful video about right here <laughs> is uh, the Sun you know I just I've, I've loved so much because it's actually a functioning thing it's under warranty it runs it it starts every time it makes me feel really good about myself in a way that I really couldn't before because that has never run um, and so, yeah, I just, it's, it's slow and weak, and I'm a big boy, so it needs big power for a big boy. So that's the next step for the sun. Built Jang Dong, full purple paint job. Yes. What's that? Oh. That wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan. Now, mama's boy, good as ever. Working perfectly fine. Corey and I fixed it in a video you can watch here. But don't let that fool you into thinking everything is going that well for me. Come on, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. 
we've arrived. Now, as far as other mini bike projects I've got, we've got the Red Rocket, which isn't really a mini bike project. It's perfect as it is. It's staying this way. This bubbled tire will be on it until it blows, and then we'll replace it, but it's perfect. This is the peak form of the Red Rocket. It's staying this way. Jacob proved that on the Wisconsin trip. Now, as far as cars go, I've got the Mustang. The Mustang needs brakes. It needs a full suspension refresh. It needs a couple little interior bits and bobs. And the exhaust is tapping. Fox Bites had this weird problem where the exhaust from the muffler back will come loose and start tapping the frame rail. And then as soon as it starts doing that, it's a bitch to get to go back to normal. Now, I have brakes and I have new isolators, new shocks, but I'm waiting on springs. So everything this thing needs I have, but I'm waiting on springs from Maximum Motorsports because they make a really good road and track spring with the progressive spring rate I want and the right drop for my tire size and for my goals with the car because I don't want to slam it and make it undrivable. But it's been a month and they're still not here, so I'm just waiting. But that's nothing compared to my big project. Okay, that's good. I didn't mean all that. Okay, here we are. I honestly have no words. This truck is ruining my life. So, if you guys watched the video we made about me getting this truck, here, <laughs> then you will know that I got it from Tennessee. It's a 1988 Ford Ranger with a five liter swapped into it. So the same engine that's in my Mustang. And the first time I drove it, the transmission blew up. So, I then dedicated the next four months of my life to living on the Ranger forums. Thank you, Ranger people. And we began the swap of a 1997 F-150 drivetrain, basically, because the 4.2 liter V6 is the same bolt pattern on the back as the V8. So you can stick the Mazda transmission out of those in these. But that means everything is a lot bigger. And I have to Frankenstein all these Ford parts together from different years. So. It's been a learning experience. It's been testing my brain power, testing my wallet. Testing your fabrication skills. Yes. And it's getting there. We're at the point where Callum and I have custom fabbed a cross member, which looks a little bent right now because <laughs> the weight's been sitting on it. The transmission is in here. It's in there. We just gotta make it go. As much of a pain in the rear as this project is, I'm as motivated as ever to get it done. I have a whole list of what needs to be done, all in order, I've got all this stuff to do it, it's just a matter of doing it. And you'll see the full story in the full video we make about it, but for now, this is the only teaser you get. Let's go to Callum's, because he's got some broken shit too. Let's dry shift this transmission that hasn't been used in 20 years. Last time you saw me, I had one bike, one dirt bike, and it was an XR250. And now, it has shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> this is an XR80. It's slow, it's small, it's kind of sh**, but it's fun. And, with the remaining cash I got from that trade, we have rehomed Owen's MB200. And it's my new project mini bike, and it's gonna be better than he ever could have made it. Of course, we've already started the project. Last weekend, it got a new juggernaut torque converter and a governor delete, uh, but we didn't feel like Bypass. taking the engine apart. Yeah, we didn't feel like taking the engine apart, so we used a zip tie. Um, but it rips until it blows up. And then I got an engine in the garage. Oh, fun. Now, to my car, my vehicle, my baby. Uh, we made it to one autocross event. You can watch that video over my left shoulder here. <laughs> Unfortunately, shortly after, the clutch broke. So I have to put another one in. And a couple weeks after that, it got backed into by That's a Silverado. Up. Oh, yeah. Ford haters. But we will make it to another autocross. I want to make it to the track. Might not have time this year. We'll try. But I've got a cage in the garage. He's going in the car. Back to Corey. All right. We got back, uh, we were going to film a segment about my Camaro, which you've seen in this video right here. 
We got ourselves a scrumptious taco dinner, which you can check out right here. Um, how, how am I going to end this? <laughs> oh, 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 oh